Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and I have for you guys some Burrito Bison gameplay. That's right, there's actually a game called Burrito Bison. I was kind of looking for a completely random game to do Flash Player Mania on, and uh, this one came to mind. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably like, Jerome, I wanted uh, to keep going with swords and sandals, so I heard a lot of people saying that. In fact, I think like 80 people liked the, that comment. is the top comment saying, like, Jerome, stay with that game. So, I just want to say... I'm not going to disappoint, I'm going to break that off and do a side series. Obviously it's going to have no end because, I mean, I'm just playing the game for fun, I keep dying all the time, but I'll do every once in a while, maybe like, I don't know, maybe every, maybe even every day, I guess. I mean, people liked it a lot, so I might as well just keep up with that, and uh, Swords and Sandals will be its own series, so it's become a break off just like Learn to Fly 2 has, just like Pokemon Tower Defense has, Raze has, the list goes on and on, so yeah, at least we found a new game to play. Without further ado, though, let's get on to some of this Burrito Bison. Now, if you're wondering what Burrito Bison is, it's a completely the retarded game where basically you go flying in the air and you only have two controls really you can press the space bar like this to bounce on the gummies just like that and you can only do it once every like you know i guess 10 seconds because then it has to recharge and you try and get as far as possible it's very much so akin to uh kitty cannon except this one's a little bit more advanced because this one's kind of like you know how I think of it as? It's a combination between Kitty Cannon and Learn to Fly 2. Because basically, what you have to do is you have to get past here, get as much money as possible by doing challenges, going as far as you can, all those kind of special things. And uh, when you finally do, you can go to the shop and buy things where I don't really have that much money. I don't think I can afford anything just yet. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't appear like I can afford anything necessarily, but it's it's certainly the point is you buy them, you raise it up to level 5, and then you just try and stack out everything, and I don't know if there's an actual end to the game, but basically the whole point of the game is just, once again, to unlock every item and uh, keep on going with this. Although I'm pretty sure you can get to the end of the game somewhere. People have been saying that there's like a, a finale type thing at the end, but yeah, oh well. So I'm having a lot of fun with this game, though. I, I found it. If you're wondering how I found this crazy game, I was looking up Kingdom Rush because I hadn't played that in a while. In fact, I think the last time I played was probably when I actually beat the game for Flash Player Mania. And I was just wondering, I'm just sitting here and I'm like, hmm, you know, I kind of, I forgot about that game. How is that game? And uh, I was looking back and on the same website, Congregate, I found Burrito Bison. And I'm like, fuck, I know they're going to love this. So let's see, we can afford a little bit of an update. Start with a more powerful launch. Lose less speed when hitting the floor and bouncing off gummies. Uh, you earn more cash from gummies. Uh, I kind of like that. Gummies make you bounce higher and lose less speed. Increase the amount of times you can body slam. Or lose speed when going through doors uh, and landing on cops. Wow, that's an interesting one. I don't want to know why you have to land on cops. I guess I didn't get that far into the game to know yet, but I'm sure that that'll make a little bit of sense eventually. That was a shitty start. Holy crap. I might as well just call it a day after a shot like that. That was awful. No, no, that... Don't pay attention to that. That didn't happen, okay? As far as anyone's concerned, that never happened. I feel like this game could get a little bit repetitive after a while, but I think, yeah, there we go. Like, different things come out, like, look at that explosive. I remember getting that when I was trying to play it out earlier to see how it was. So different things like that kind of spice it up. And also, when you start being, holy shit, he's got money. Give me that money. Give, give me that money. You son of a bitch. Give me that money. But uh, as you start to get further on, I'm sure once you start unlocking new things, you can last longer in the air, and then you can kind of just have a little bit more fun with that. And, oh, baby! Wow, apparently if you start off perfectly like that and you hit that one guy, you get 172 points. Or what is it? Was it 170? 100 points or so. I don't know. I didn't pay that close attention. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Get that guy. Get it. We got the money. Got me. Oh, how much money do I get for that? That didn't seem to... Oh, never mind. It gave me 100. I was going to say, like, that didn't seem to give me that much at all. I was I was a little disappointed there. Oh, man. Yeah, that was the golden run. Now we have $1,000 to spend. Let's spend it on more money. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like I feel like such a money whore right now. There we go. Give me that ass. How much do I get per balloon now? Because or gummy, I should say. Because it said that I'll be getting more now per squish. Ah, it's only like ten per squish still. That it didn't help out that much. I don't know if it was necessarily worth it. Oh god, there was one of the cop guys. I should probably avoid him. Apparently, it slows me down. I'm gonna keep doing this, and then I'm gonna also update my money. I'm gonna update my money to the second one and see how well that does for me. Because I think there's probably a lot of money to be had if you do that. Oh baby, come on, come on. Yeah, we're definitely getting better already. This thing, I think I like about this game is a combination between getting better using stats and getting better just out of skill. So I, I like games like that where it's a combination of just the two of those kind of combined very nicely. On a side note, though, I have been loving Halo Reach, and I'm planning on making a video actually later today for you guys because I know everyone is a big, well, not everyone, I shouldn't say everyone, but a lot of people are big Halo Reach fans, including myself. So for me, it was a blessing when Halo 4 came out. What, did I say Halo Reach or Halo 4? I meant to say Halo 
Halo 4, because when Halo 4 came out, it's been like a blessing. I've been having a ton of fun playing it, so I decided I'm going to get on that. And also, I have a little bit of a... You know what? I'll tell you guys. I'll drop this little secret for you guys. I'm working on two projects. The one of them still has to remain secret, but another project that I'm working on, and I'm currently probably about two-thirds of the way done with, is a Let's Play with Pete. You guys know Pizza Hut. So I'm doing a Let's Play with him, and uh, we're just about, I think, an hour into it. It should only take like an hour and a half. And uh, yeah, so we're kind of working on that right now. It's going to be for a certain adventure app. I don't want to give too many details away. But the point is just stay tuned and make sure you keep your eyes open for that. Because I think you guys would really, really enjoy that. Which is me and Pete having a good time, two people. And uh, if it goes well, maybe we'll do some more in the future. Or maybe we'll find like a longer Let's Play map. We're not sure yet what we're going to do. Alright, there were a couple things in the shop that I didn't really get around to checking out, but I have a feeling like they'd probably be really useful to me to get, so I'm going to look down there and uh, see what they are. Hold on, let me just finish up this run. Oh my god, he does not want to lose. Thank you, finally he lost. Alright, so right down here, let's see what we got here. Bubble gummies. Increase your chance of encountering gummies hanging onto bubble gum. Increase your chance of encountering hang gliding gummies. Increase chance of encounter. Oh, so these are increase your chances of encountering gummies riding rockets, gummies on pogo sticks... Why is this so important? Why would I really want this? In case you're encountering gummies carrying... Oh, okay, that one sounds good. But besides that, well, like, I don't I don't know. I'd, I'd rather increase my stats than waste it on that bullshit. I'm going to try and get everything up to like level 1 probably stats to start off. That's probably a good place. I wonder if there's a list of challenges. You know what, next time I'm there, I'm going to go check out if there's a list of challenges to do. Because I'm sure this game has more to do than just try and max out stats and just dick around. If that's the case, though, we're just going to max out the stats and then finish the game off that way. But let's see, is there... Oh, there are achievements. Good, good. This could add for a little bit of fun. Wait a minute. I've, I've already gotten achievements. Why are they not... I guess it keeps changing them, then, depending on, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I guess after you get one of them, it just kind of keeps on going and gives you more achievements, which is cool, because I guess that means it won't run out for a while. But uh, at least we have a list of things to do. That's always good. Because we learned to fly, too. Half the fun was getting all the achievements, not so much the, the flying portion. Well, flying was fun. All right, let's see. We can get gummies make you bounce higher and lose less speed. I like that. That actually sounds really useful. I think I think that one might be our most useful. And is it just me or have I been saying really a lot? I don't know. I just feel like I keep saying really, really, dude. Dude, stop. All right. Oh, oh, baby. That was like a, a quadruple punch. I just punched everyone. And okay, guys, I have a new addiction at my school. And uh, it's not what you think because, you know, people when they hear addiction in college don't think too good of things. But, uh... Buffalo chicken sandwiches? Holy shit. I have not tried them till I got here. They are incredible. I like... I don't know how to describe it. I, I love buffalo chicken sandwiches now. They are actually incredible. And I have no clue how I've never had one before up until this date. I, I have buffalo chicken all the time. I love buffalo wings, buffalo chicken, everything. But on a sandwich, holy shit, they are so good. When you hit, it makes you go higher. Okay, I can deal with that. I, I like going higher. Oh, wow, that was actually really good. That was nice. I wish he'd sent me out further, though. Oh, yeah, we got the money. Good, I was afraid we wouldn't get the money bags right there. Ah. Uh, all right, so let's see. Shop now. What are we missing here? Resistance. Lose the speed when going through doors and landing on cops. I don't really give a shit about that. I'm going to save that for last, probably. Increase the amount of times you can body slam. That sounds okay. All right, so we pretty much maxed out. Well, not maxed out. We got everything to level one that we really needed. And, uh, oh, wow, it actually gives you two, that's what it meant. I thought it meant like it would just recharge quicker, but it actually gives you two of the abilities. Holy shit, why did I do that from the start? Oh, my God, imagine having five of them at your disposal. You would, like, never lose. I'm pretty sure this would last forever. Oh, no, we're starting to slow down, though. We only have two of them. Come on. Oh, it only recharges one at a time. Never mind. I thought it recharged both at a time. I was like, GG, you cannot lose. But that is actually really useful. So let me see. Where was that again? Was that this guy? Yeah, oh, $2,500. You know what? I'm going to get that before the end of this game, because or before I call it quits for this episode, because that seems like one of the best upgrades to have. Oh, look at that. Jeez. Stacking up points. Holy shit. I think I just punched like 10 of them in a row. Oh, God. Not the cop. Did I really just get arrested? That is pathetic. How do I not get arrested by the cops? Do I have to upgrade at least to level 1 or something to not get arrested? Because that's a little annoying if you always constantly get arrested by cops whenever you touch them. What an abrupt way to lose, too. You know what I gotta do? I gotta save some uh, super punches or whatever they're called, the slams, so that way when I see a cop, I can just avoid him. Uh, I didn't do it that time, though. Twice in a row. Jesus, those fucking cops are crazy. Alright, where is it? Let's go... Uh, where are you? There you are. Rocket Slam. So now we should have three of them, if, I, if I'm correct about this. Holy shit, that is too overpowered. There's no way. 
Why does it allow you to do that? I just start off the game like a boss there. Although, I gotta say, I don't think I'm gonna get as much money this round as I normally do. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, just keep going until I can get it. Uh, fucking cop again. You know what? Maybe I should invest in the resistance. Okay, yeah, yeah that's what I'm gonna do. There must be something about it, though, because that just says you lose less speed when running into a cop. But when I run into cops, they fucking arrest me, and it's the end of the game. So I don't really... I don't know if I'm doing this correctly or not. There must be something that I'm missing here. Here we go. I'm going to do, like, one or two more runs, and then call it quits for the day. Oh, hit the balloon. Perfect. I need to stay up as long as possible, because then I can uh, get a couple more ground pounds. I wish there's a way to make sure that they recharge quicker, because the recharge rate on that thing is a little bit brutal. Here we go. How much money was it for this? There we go. Buy resistance. There we go. Now we can't get arrested. All right, guys. I'm going to call this one the last run of the day, and then we're going to call it quits. But, oh, man. GG. Here we go. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Oh, got it. Get it. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, perfect. I love ground pounding when you're in a group like that. It's just, it feels so good because you get so many points for it. Oh, no, cop. Come on. Fucking hell. And look, he took me again. What's the point of getting an upgrade if he just takes you every time? You know, just because that was, that was some old bullshit. We're going to we're gonna give it one more go. Because that was just really bullshit. There we go. Alloop. Alloop. I should probably have saved my ground pounds for times when they were actually extremely needed. As opposed to right then when I just kind of wasted them. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on, catch up. Catch up. Catch up. No, catch up to the balloon. No. Yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. I don't think I'm going to catch up to that balloon anytime soon. Oh, God, the cop. Come on. Ah! Fuck me. Maybe I have to slam him. Alright, well anyway guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and have yourselves a good night. Hope you guys enjoy this as the uh, new Flash Player Mania, and stay tuned for more Swords and Sandals on the side. Good night, everybody.